Hey guys, how are you? Thank you for joining me on the webinar today. This is Luke. What's going on, guys? Welcome in. Javier, Manu, Mario, Ole, Rajnesh, Salim, David, Oscar, Victor. What's up, guys? How are you? Welcome in today. Guys, today I'm uh, I'm pretty excited for the webinar. Today we're going to be talking about some, some really cool ads that you can run. Sorry, Siri is trying to talk to me. We're going to be talking about some ads you can run for um, getting people in for your events, filling private dining rooms, filling event spaces. So um, these ads are really great because when you get people to book an event or to book a private party or to throw a birthday party there, uh, of course, people are going to spend a good amount of money. And, and so that's, that's one of the things that makes these ads really, really valuable. Hey, Frank, welcome on in. So we'll get started here with this in just a couple moments, guys. Uh, but as always, if you guys want to go in the chat box below and chat with me there, that'd be pretty cool. Guys, just go in the chat box below and let me know if you have space at your restaurant for private parties, events, birthdays, stuff like that. Like, do you have, you don't have to have private dining rooms, but um, if you guys can go in the chat box below and just let me know what your situation is like, just simply let me know if you have private dining space or if you have any event space or event rooms. This could be for parties, you know, pretty small from five to 10, all the way up to 50 or hundred people, whatever. This works for a lot of different, different ways. Jocelyn, welcome in. Thank you for joining. Adriana, welcome in. Thank you for joining here. Robert, what's up, Robert? Welcome in. Nice to see you here. Just want to check in with you guys. Make sure I'm coming through loud and clear. Everybody can hear me okay? Guys, give me a thumbs up in the chat box if you if you can hear me okay. There we go. Perfect. Justin, we do have private separate event space and do private rentals. Perfect. Salim says no private space. That's okay, Salim. You can uh, you can kind of use this as you know this this can be translated to different types of things at your restaurant as well. So guys, I'm, without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and dive right into this. I'm going to show you what these ads look like. And then I'm actually going to build one of these campaigns with you on, on the ads, here, uh, on the webinar here. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly share my screen. Let's go ahead and get this going. All right. All right, guys. So I've got my screen up here and running. I'm just going to show you this example. So here's an example of an ad that you can run to fill out your event space or your private parties, whatever you want to call it. Now, as you see this ad, it's it's advertising a free event space. So this would be great for you at your restaurant if you have you know space like this that's not always full, it's not always being used, and you want more customers to use it. You want you want more action there, you want more business there. So this ad does a couple of things. It grabs people's attention because we're using the word free. So it just Kind of makes the brain stop for a split second and say, what's this? And you may or may not be charging right now for your event spaces right now, your private dining. Again, this is an example. So this can always be edited a little bit to fit your business. But from a strategic standpoint, advertising a free event space that may not be used anyway, it's empty anyway, 
advertising that free event space catches people's attention. And of course, people come in and they spend a lot of money with you. They, they pay full price for things. So I know I've been at many restaurants and they have beautiful private dining rooms, but they're just not being used. They're just empty. Especially during the holidays coming up, this is a great thing to run. So you're basically advertising a free event space. Okay. And then people come in, five people come in, 10 people come in, 20 people, 30 people, whatever. And they pay full price for everything. So is it free event space? Sure. It's just a way to catch attention from people and get them to book some parties with you, get them to book some events with you. Okay. So <clears throat> this is what the, the ad looks like. I would recommend, you know, run as, as we talk about all these techniques, you're going to want to run a handful of different images. Um, you could even have an image that shows like half food and then half of your space. There's a lot of ways you could do that. Okay. And if you've been a part of our trainings before, we talk a lot about creatives, how many creatives to run. Why do you want to run three to five creatives at a minimum? Stuff like that. Okay. So if you're new, if you're new to the webinar here today, for example, Robert, welcome in. You should have got a link to this Google Doc that says all of our prior recordings on there. A lot of really valuable stuff. I'm going to put this in the chat box below. For some reason, if you guys don't have that or you missed it, or potentially you didn't bookmark that yet, there it is. Hey, Chris, welcome in. Okay, so that's what the ad would look like, all right? And I'm going to show you how we would actually set up this ad, all right? So first of all, I'm going to go to Ads Manager, and I'm going to hit Create. There's many different ways you could run this ad, but I'm going to run this ad as an opt-in. I want people to give me their information. I want to get them as a lead to come in to my restaurant. So go ahead and click engagement. Don't do the recommended, click manual. Facebook's always gonna try to give it the easy route, which usually doesn't work as well. So I might name this something like uh, event space, whatever, right? I'm just gonna do this on the fly with you guys. And you can click next. And let's go ahead and you can keep that as it is, that's fine. We're gonna go ahead, keep that as click to message. Just gonna do Messenger for now. And uh, let's, you can have your budget be whatever you want. I'm just gonna keep it like that for now. And guys, as you know, I always like to start my ads out like tomorrow. So I'll build the ad today and I'll make it start tomorrow just to give Facebook and Instagram some time to get the ad approved. So I'm a little bit superstitious with this. It doesn't really matter, but I like to start my ads around nine or 10 in the morning. And then of course, choose your location. I'm just going to pretend that this is my restaurant. So let's see if this comes up on Google maps. Mm, for some reason it doesn't, that's okay though. It's supposed to, there it is. I'm just going to pretend that that is my restaurant right there. Seems to be a little bit slow right now, but that's okay. And then with your targeting, depending on your location, let's just going to, let's just use 10 miles for now. Keep that right here as it, as it is advantage placements and then go ahead and click on next. Okay, so in here, we're going to add an image. And let's see where that image is. I just had it with me. Let me get it back up. I can just screenshot this for now. 
Just going to screenshot this bad boy. Yeah, good enough. Just so you can see me build it. I'm going to drag my image in there. And there's a lot of different ways you can make this image. Um, a lot of times just having a simple image and then a, like a big bar at the top with like bold text, that's going to, it's a really simple format, but it really, it really works. Um, so as you can see, this is what the ad would look like. I always like turning off all these extra optimizations. Facebook's going to try to add music to this and a whole bunch of different stuff, but I like to just turn off all those extra optimizations. I don't really need them. Okay. And then for the primary text here, we're just going to follow what we have here. We're going to just simply say at the beginning, free event space. And then I might say like, um, if you love tacos, tequila, and great times with friends, I'm just making this up. Check out Luke's grill, okay? It's the perfect place for you to throw a party. Then I might go like this. Uh, I might do like, um, I'll bullet point out like private parties, events, birthday parties. I'm just making this up guys. Just to kind of give people an idea, anniversaries, Um, we might do like um, bachelorette, bachelor parties, whatever, right? Something like that. Then we might say, click the link below to register for free, All right? Something like that. Now, the headline I would put right here what did we put here on the on the headline? Register for free event space. Okay. Something like that. And then when I'm making the button here, I like to either do sign up or learn more. And in this case, I'm going to do learn more. It's not really a right or a wrong in this case. Okay. All right. So here is where you're then going to build your many chat flow that happens after people click. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what that might look like here. I'm just going to go ahead and create a brand new flow. And I might name this, uh, Event space, uh, whatever, we can name it later. So my first step is going to be Messenger. Please. Or I might say like interested in our free event space. Click below, okay, something like that. Then I'm going to go add a button, click me, like this, All right? And then once people click that, we're just gonna ask them a simple question. Um, I'd say, quick question, 
Have you visited Luke's Grill before? Guys, you don't have to put all this in your flow. Um, I like doing something like this just to give people more education and qualify the lead a bit better. So I might say yes. And then no. So I said, if they have visited, I might say something like, great first name. As you know, we are a vibrant restaurant with delicious tacos, tequila, and a great event space, whatever, something like that, okay? And then if they click no, I'm really gonna say the same thing almost. I'm just gonna go like this. And I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna say like, awesome, awesome first name. Um, just so you know a bit about us, something like that. There we go. Okay. And then I might say something like, um, Real quick, enter your phone number below to, to complete your registration for the free event space. Okay. I do a phone number collection here. And so to do that, we also we need to do the user input. I'm just going to copy that there. We need to do the user input for the phone number. This needs to be number. No, this needs to be phone. There we go. <clears throat> we don't need that. We don't need that. We're going to save the response to a custom field. Okay. And we go through a lot more in depth on why we do this on this webinar right here. Okay. So guys bearing with me so far, I know I'm getting Nice and technical with you, um, but you guys following so far, give me a thumbs up if you're awake. This is all good still. Give me a thumbs up, or if it's a, if it's terrible and you hate it, give me a thumbs down. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Uh, cool. So no matter what they say, I'm going to bring them here. Okay, real quick, enter your phone number below to complete your registration for the free event space. Okay? So on this action, when they do enter their phone number, I'm gonna to wanna to put this phone number into a Google Sheet. Okay, so I might make a column here. First name, last name, phone, email, and I might even say details, okay? So in here, because this person might not actually call the restaurant and book, you might wanna follow up with them. You might wanna have you or maybe a manager of yours or a team member of yours call on these warm leads. So let's see here, we're gonna do a Google Sheet insert row. Actually, we're gonna do this at the, at the end. We're not gonna do that quite yet, okay? <clears throat> okay, so we got the phone number there and we're also going to, I'm gonna copy this just so it's nice and easy. And once they enter that, we're gonna go here. And then I'm gonna say, Also, please enter your email address. And maybe I'll do a little point down emoji here like this. And then this is what I want that to be an email and turn those off. Save this to a custom field of email address. There we go, all right. And then I'm gonna do like this. I'm gonna say a user input as well. I'm gonna say, lastly, um, please let me know what type of party or event you are interested in. 
the birth is it a birthday event? Actually, you know what we could do. What might be better is having people. Uh, I'm just gonna please let me know what type of event or party you're interested in. Yep, we're gonna do this, and then this can be a text answer, and we're gonna save this to like a custom field. We're gonna name this event event space details. Okay, I'm, and, and we don't have a field book with that yet, so I'm gonna um, add a new user field event space details. All right. Perfect. Hit create. And then lastly here, I might say, thank you, first name. You can give us a call to reserve your event space. All right, so I might just go like this. I'm gonna get my number real fast up in here. Okay. I'm just building this on the fly with you guys right now. I've got a template for this as well, but just good to see it built from scratch as well. You say call us, or maybe just say call, call number. There we go, there's a phone number to call. And then maybe put the phone number here too. All right, that's that's always good, okay? So I'm gonna set this to go live. All right, so we've built our automation. That looks pretty solid, all right? Oh, before we do that, the last thing we're gonna have to do is on this action, on this last reply here, we're gonna wanna insert all that information into a Google Sheet row so that um, you have that um, ability to see all your leads here, okay? <clears throat> and then I'm gonna go like this. I think in, in these Google Sheets, my team does this all the time, but I need to open this up to make it editable by the system. And I think that should show up there. Let me try that. Try that again, insert row. That doesn't work. Uh, let me see what I need to do. In your settings, if you're not finding your Google Sheets there in your settings, you're gonna have to go over here to integrations. Let me see what that is right here, integrations. And then you'll wanna go to your Google Sheets account. So mine is actually not my email address. That's why it's not showing up there. So I'm gonna share this with my, no action needed just so my team sees this. They don't need to do anything. So I shared it with the email account that is on this integration right here. So now I'll go back here and now this should show up. Let's hope this works, huh? There it is, event space, perfect. And we're gonna do sheet one. And you see on this event space, I have first name, last name, phone number, email, and details. Okay, details. So I'm gonna refresh this real fast. So the first name, I wanna put the first name of the subscriber. That's automatically pulled from their profile. Last name, so you know who they are. Phone number, and this is the this is the custom user field that we created, right? We we created this called phone number, and this is right here. No, nope, this is right here. Phone number, and then email. It's a custom user field email address, and then details. This is also a custom user field details. All right. Now we're going to save this. And then we're going to update this. Okay, so lastly, to connect this to your ad, we're going to go ahead and do the trigger. User clicks a Facebook ad right here. Oops, hold on. We're going to save this trigger. Give me a moment here. You know, I believe Facebook actually might have changed this. Let's see. Yeah, I think Facebook just changed this recently. Uh, give me a moment, I'll find where this goes. 
anyway, we've got a full different training on how to connect your ads. You're going to go in here and you're going to create, you're going to go here in the message template. You're going to make a template that automatically um, triggers this workflow right here. So uh, we do have a full training on that. You'll find that right here, geo-targeted ads to get customers in seven days. That's going to be where you find out how to, how to do that. So I'm not going to go through all that here, but that's, that's what you want to do. So guys, let's go ahead and test this. Let's go ahead and see what this looks like from start to finish. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and actually make a ref URL. And if you guys don't know what a ref URL is yet, it's just a simple link that can lead people into this flow. So you can obviously get people in from ads, of course, but you also can get people in just by sending them a link. So if you've got an email list or you've got a text list, send people links to these things and then they can opt in just by clicking a link. So I might say um, um, email link, whatever, something like that, right? We're gonna turn on this trigger. I'm gonna copy this to my clipboard, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and click that link and show you guys what happens? Let's see if I did it correctly. Computer is just a little bit slow and I got zoom up and running. Raj, Javier, thanks for the thumbs up. Appreciate that. Okay, interested in our free event space? Click below. So that, of course, will be prompted whenever someone clicks either from an ad, from a website pop-up, from you know, a message you send them with a link, whatever it is. Okay, so a quick question. Have you visited Luke's Grill before? I'm going to say no. I'm a new customer. And it says, awesome, Luke, just so you know a little bit about us, we're a vibrant restaurant with tacos, tequila, and a great event space. Right? You can, of course, make that a little bit better, more thorough. Maybe you put a picture in there. You know, whatever. Um, so please enter your email address below. Um, and then it says, real quick, please enter your phone number to complete your registration for the free event space. Boom, boom. <clears throat> and then lastly, please let me know what type of party or event you're interested in. And I might say something I want to host my company happy hour at your restaurant, okay, whatever, something like that. Thank you, Luke. You can give us a call right now to reserve, reserve your event space. Boom, so we can call right away. But if they don't book, look at this, it worked. If they don't call, which a lot of your leads will not book right away, that's, be, that's why they're a lead. And so I would highly recommend having you or someone on your team follow up with these warm leads. You can email them, you can text them, you can call them uh, and follow up with them to get them to really book their event. So you see first name, last name, phone number, email, and the details of what they're planning on doing. Okay. I will say uh, on this detail tab here, you may not want to just leave it as an open-ended question like I did there. I'm just, this is more of just an example if you leave it to an open-ended question, some people just, they might not complete it. Um, and so then it's gonna be harder for you to find their contact information, right? So maybe on this last question, you have a multiple choice, right? You can maybe do like birthday, anniversary, company happy hour, uh, whatever, right? And, or maybe other. And then so they can choose from those, those buttons and then they're more likely to complete it. So just a thought there. But yeah, I mean, if you do this, you should, you know, this can be something that's running all the time. And if you, you know, imagine if you had a lead list of like 200 people who are interested in your event space, um, it's going to be a game of, of, of sales, of following up and of pipeline building and management. So definitely would recommend once you have a nice lead, you know, a nice amount of leads in here, 10 people, 20 people, hundred people, 500 leads, whatever it is. Definitely recommend it, calling them uh, and making making contact with them. And so, I would say if they if if you make contact with them and they're just not ready to book yet, call them back. You know, twice a month or once a month, 
And if you're calling these leads and you have not made contact with them yet, I would honestly recommend calling them once a day or like three times a week until you make contact with them. So it will be a game of warm calling these leads, being aggressive with them and making sure that you can make, make contact with them. Some people, as mentioned, some people will just book automatically because they, they got your number here and they can call, but it will be a game of following up on those leads as well. <clears throat> so um, guys, that's, that, that's how it works. I mean, just to kind of summarize everything, you're running an ad to get people's attention, call out the event space, tell people it's free, that grabs their attention and it also gets them thinking about it. But hey, they come in, they spend full price on your food anyway. So it's a great way to increase your your your, your averages, and um, you know just get some larger larger tickets going on in there. So, um, guys, I've got some time for questions. This is the nuts and bolts of it. Kind of showed you how to run the graphics, how to set it up, how to run the flow, how to how to get the leads, how to follow up on the leads. Um, you guys got questions? Now's your time. If you want to raise your hand. In Zoom, there's a little raise hand icon. I can unmute you. You can talk with me. Uh, if you want to put questions in the chat box below, happy to answer questions in the chat box below. If you can't find the raise hand button, just go in the chat box and let me know that you want to chat. <laughs> Either way, it works for me. I have Matthew asking about budget. Matthew, budget is just going to depend on your on a lot of factors, your revenue, your comfortability with ads. Um, you, you can spend as little as a dollar a day. You can spend as much as you want. So, you know, to really get leads faster, you're going to spend more money, right? Um, there is the threshold where you can spend too much in a local market. So, but um yeah, it depends on depends on your on your on your budget really. It depends on your revenue, it depends on your your cash flow. But I mean, just as a rule of thumb, you could start with like ten bucks a day, you know, ten bucks a day, five bucks a day, twenty bucks a day, something along along those lines, and uh, and then you can always increase it or decrease it. You know, you're not set in stone with anything, so don't overthink the budget too much. Um, Chris is asking. Can you also use a different CRM besides ManyChat or is that a required tool? Um, no, Chris, great question. I mean, um, it's not a required tool. There's a, there's a lot of different ways you can, you can do a lot of these things. So you definitely don't need to use ManyChat. Um, but I like it, you know, for, for restaurants and for lead generation, it's a great way to build a list of messenger contacts, of Instagram DM contacts, get, gathering emails and phone numbers is great through ManyChat as well because it's frictionless. Meta already has your email and phone, so like all the people have to do is just click a button and then they they've entered they've entered their information. So, um, no, you don't have to use ManyChat though. No, um, Chris, let me know what type of program you're looking to use. Uh, that's okay. Um, let me know what type of program you're looking to use and. Maybe I can give you more of a clear answer there. But yeah, a lot of the stuff that we go through, it's not really platform specific or program specific. It's more like strategy. So you could do the same strategy like this on like a lead page or a landing page or you know a bunch of different things. Yeah, this is a this is a webinar group where um, you can. You know, take it for what it's worth. We're going over and customize it for yourself. Um, Chris says we either use HubSpot or Zoho with my, with clients. Just thought your agency may require a bill. Yeah, you can. I mean, you can use any. You know, I'm just kind of sharing right now, sharing some uh, techniques. You can use any tool. Yeah, if you got lead forms with HubSpot or Zoho, yeah, you can you can use anything. You're very welcome. Anything else? Salim, Robert, Raj, Mario, Menu, Javier, Frank, D, Adriana. You guys got any questions for me? Um, as always, this will be recorded, or it is recorded, and it'll be in this doc. 
Uh, do you're very welcome. Guys, if you have questions on what I showed you here, definitely go in the chat box below and let me know. Event space and private party ads. Okay. Let me know if you've got some questions. Also wanted to follow up with you guys. If you're if you're here last week or the last few weeks, uh, last week we talked about how to run TikTok ads. Uh, we also talked about how to get more customers in with Instagram stories um, using keyword triggers. So if you guys have tried these things, could you go in the chat box below and just let me know um, your, your results? Let me know what your experience was like after trying these things. Let me know if you tried the Instagram story call to action with the keyword trigger, pretty easy. This one is where you can make a keyword trigger inside a menu chat that says like, you know, whenever someone messages, messages the word special, you send them a link to your daily specials or something like that. Austin said that he tried it, got some response from it. Nice, cool. Yeah, consistency is the key there, it really is. Consistency is the key. This webinar we went through today is going to be on this sheet eh, probably within the next 24 hours or so, 24 to 48 hours, it'll be here recorded. Robert's got a question. Perfect. Let's see. Robert, I have a question about finding a specific audience in Facebook ads. For example, how to offer a free birthday dessert, specifically trying to target people within a five mile radius of the restaurant who have a birthday this month. Robert, I've got your answer. <clears throat> um, let's see. We also did a webinar on this as well. Let me see where that is. I know it's somewhere. I'll show you right now too. But just so you know, you can, I think you can go ahead and look at this one as well. There it is. Get big groups for birthdays. So Robert, on the second, second link here, take a look at that after the call. But yes, I will show you right now, actually. So in your ad set in Meta, there is a setting where you can choose people who have birthdays coming up. So in your audience controls, Facebook changed this around a little bit recently. So you might have to dig a little bit and find this. It's pretty easy. Click on view more options. And click on location. That's not where it is. Where the heck is it? Here it is. So you want to go right here, switch to original audience options. So you want to click on use original audience. There you go. And then now that you have the original audience features up, you can go right here and type in, in this box, you want to type in birthday. And then you can look at and target people who've got birthdays in January, birthdays in December, birth, whatever, whatever, like you can target birthdays by month. Robert, what I would recommend doing is this one right here. So this is called upcoming birthday. And this would target people who are going to have their birthday coming up within one week. So see when I hover over this here, people who are going to have their birthday within one week. So it's like an ad that you can run indefinitely. You can always keep it running. You don't have to turn it off. You know, you can put like five bucks a day or 10 bucks a day, whatever, whatever you want behind it. And it's only going to show up on people's phones if they have a birthday coming up within a seven day period. So it's always going to be an evergreen ad that you can run. It's not uh, a birthday that month but it's a birthday that week. So that would work. Otherwise you can just run specific campaigns for people who have got birthdays in those months. He says, perfect, thanks. You're very welcome. Let me know if I can go into a more in-depth answer there, but that looks pretty good. That's the one I would use. All righty, guys. Any other questions for me? Any other questions, guys? 
happy to help. But um, yeah, I mean, as always, I would encourage you to try this stuff. Uh, if, you, if you've got private dining space or event space at your restaurant, definitely give us a shot. You can whip up an ad pretty quickly. So um, guys, as always, just wanted to give you a nice quick thank you. I, I, I always get excited Wednesday afternoons because I, I know we have these webinars. So um, thank you for being here and um, I hope it's valuable to you. Uh, we try to just give all, all the stuff that we talk about here are the same things we do for our clients. And so um, just trying to share all the knowledge and so you guys can implement that stuff yourself. Robert, yes, this all these are recorded. So on the document that you got, uh, you should have got a Word document or a Google Doc here when you signed up. It was sent to your email address. Maybe check your spam or junk. There's a bunch of links in there, so sometimes it goes there. But um, I'll put a link here as well in the chat. So yes, Robert, you can see a replay of this. It's all going to be recorded. And... Um, you can access these recordings at any point in time. The recording here will be right here. And that'll be there within one or two days. Um, it'll be it'll be up there live. Robert, for you, this is your first webinar, and this is you know for anybody else who's new as well. Um <laughs> definitely recommend taking a look at this, what we call a wheel of fortune, kind of working yourself from clockwise down and around. Um, there's a lot of things in here that if you can do all those, you're going to be in a pretty good place. So lots of stuff going on. We're always going to be you know, doing more. Whenever something new comes out, we're going to be teaching it as well. So um, yeah, urge you to go into all these, take a look at all them. There's a bunch, a bunch of great stuff in there. Uh, all the restaurants who join this, we've got about 135 restaurants registered for this already. So uh, pretty exciting. And um, from what everybody tells me, that you know the restaurants that actually implement these things, they get pretty awesome results. So uh, please make sure you share your results with me. Um, if you're having difficulties or if you're having great results, I want to hear both sides of the story um, so that I can help you through it. You know, the stuff is not easy. Stuff is not easy, but I try to make it as easy as possible. Um, so hats off to you guys who are implementing these things. Um, I could rant all day, guys. So that's all for me today. Uh, if you have any questions, we'll address those in the next webinar. But um, yeah, do this stuff and let me know on the next call how well it worked. Let me know your results. Be very curious to and excited to hear that from you guys. Okay. Wish you guys a good week. Wish you a profitable week. Um, Guys, thanks for being here. All right. Talk to you soon. Cheers. See you guys. See you, Robert. Thank you. Bye, guys. See ya.